Martino here. Um, welcome to the second show on a Friday. Um, normally we call this One Hit Wonder, but today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, this is a soundtrack album to a film called Still Crazy, which came out in 1998. I can't believe how old this film is now. Um, basically, it's a film about a fictional band called Strange Fruit. Now, there's always rumours about who it's actually based on. People say it's Deep Purple. Uh, it's a Deep Purple, Uriah Heap sort of band, yeah. And the film starts off of a Whiz Beach festival in 77 and it all went wrong and they went off dive and never performed again. So that sort of it ties in with how Deep Purple split up in 76. And basically the, the Strange Fruit, the band and the actors that played it, Bill Nighy played Ray Sims, Stephen Ray played Tony Costello, Jimmy Nail was Les Wicks, Timothy Spall was David Beano Baggett, um, Bruce Robinson, and uh, basically uh, the character Stephen Ray, pl Ray played, Tony Costello, was he was working in Ibiza filling up um, their machines with a funny flavour chewing gum and someone recognised him and said his dad was the, did the original Whiz Beach um, festival and he was redoing it and he'd love Strange Fruit to perform there because he recognised who he was so Tony comes back to England, gets hold of um, I think it was Brian Lovell's girlfriend at the time, Karen Knowles. Um, so they got round up the band. Uh, there was also uh, Keith Lovell was Brian Lovell's brother who died of drugs overdose. Tommy Bowling. <laughs> it's all clicking in and. Um, they had to get a new guitarist. The guy, the, the actor that played him, uh, was Hans Matheson. Played a guy called Luke Shand, and then they had a roadie, played by the fantastic Billy Connolly. It is a fantastic film. So let's go about because let's look at the um, the other bits that go with this, like the actual people that performed on this album. Some interesting people. Okay, to start with, most of the lyrics were written by Chris Difford from Squeeze. He actually won the Ivan Novello Award for these lyrics. Great stuff. Now, the actual band, uh, Bill Nighy and Jimmy Nail actually sing on this, which is pretty good. They've both got great voices. Uh, guitars were done by Steve Donnelly. Now, Steve Donnelly has done some work he's worked with David Arnold on the Tomorrow Never Dies James Bond film he's worked with Cheryl Crow he's worked with Nick Lowe um, and we got Morgan Nichols um, if you don't know who he is he's the keyboard player with Muse when they're on stage uh, Guy Pratt don't have to have no introductions to Guy Pratt he's played I mean he's played with Natalie Imbruglia and Madonna but he's more known for anything to do with Pink Floyd. He's played with Pink Floyd, he's played with David Gilmour, and he was part of Nick Mason's Source for the Secrets project. Uh, then there's other guys, Paul Carrick's on here, uh, Mike and the Mechanics. Um, great musicians and some uh, session mu musicians as well who have played with loads of these have played with all sorts of people um, but the actual soundtrack is probably one of the best soundtracks I own it's a great album so let's have a look at these tracks okay the first track on the album and it is the best track on the album without a doubt the flame still burns it's wonderful the clip is in the um, playlists. You'll love it. Um, Jimmy Nail, I mean, he's a great singer anyway. 
and the guitar solo on this the actual um, is yes yeah, Steve Donnelly is a great guitarist that's a wonderful song it's one of my favorite songs anyway if I was to do the top 10 of my favorite songs this would be in it absolutely a brilliant song all over the world great track Bill Nighy sings this it's brilliant the keyboards in this are terrific the, 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 you know Morgan Nichols what a keyboard player he is he, it's a great track um, what a, let me get why it might have been this is this is recorded when they've had a successful little European tour and they go back into the studio to try and record an album and this is one of the songs there's a big riff between the characters played by Bill Nighy and um, Jimmy Nail uh, you know Ray Sims doesn't want Les to sing but they give him a chance on this album that we're going to make and what might have been is a fantastic song great vocal from Jimmy Nail he absolutely nails it excuse the pun then we get a track called Brian's theme this is a little when Brian Bruce Robinson played this character Brian Lovell absolutely brilliant and basically whenever he's thinking I think you get this little bit of acoustic music uh, performed by Steve Donnelly it's lovely it's very short but it's really good um, then Dirty Town, uh, this is another song sung by Bill Nighy, great track, he has got a really good voice, believe it or not, I mean he did some singing in Love Actually as well, and, uh, it, and I thought he sounded good, but he sounds, as a, as a rock singer, he's the man, um, great rock song that is, then we get Stealing, uh, Billy Connolly, sings this and he plays the banjo on it because uh, we forget that um, Billy Connolly started out as a folk musician and uh, this song they actually do whether they're in the tour bus uh, it's a really good little song from Billy fantastic um, Black Moon great track this is a very track that you could say that it's a very Uriah Heap sounding track um, really really good um, let me get lift today this is a little bit um, about um, Hans Matheson nice little track that is bird on a wire um, Jimmy Nail sings this great song I mean I like Jimmy Nail as a singer anyway great track then we get the Ibiza film this is theme this is a bit dancey but but it sort of fits in with um, what's going on uh, scream freedom this is a great track uh, again it's more it's very much like gypsy by um, you right heap in the film then when it turned up and um, there's Bill Nohy's character crank it up and it breaks every glass in the bar and the dogs start barking it's quite fun, funny um, then we get a track called A Woman Like That uh, written by Bernie Marsden and that's performed by uh, the actual band that recorded it Dangerous Things another great track uh, Bill Nohy sings on this and then we get a reprise of Brian's theme. As a, if you took this as just an album and not from a soundtrack, you'd say this is a damn good album. And it is a damn good album. That's only one way to say it. I've put some of the tracks in a playlist. Um, if you haven't seen the film, check it out. You can rent it on Amazon Prime. It is so funny. Um, there's not many films, music films that I like. 
like this. I mean, I love sp Spinal Tap film. I mean, that, that the soundtrack to that is fantastic. So we might look at that another day. But this is up there. This and then what I like this one. This is very British. It, it's British written, and it stars British people. It's it's a proper English comedy. Um, the musicians that worked on this are fantastic. I mean, Difford wrote some great lyrics on these tracks, and they're all good songs. They're not, you know, half beaten songs. A lot of thought went into this, and the production is fantastic. So, go and listen to it. Go and watch it, and see what you think. And put your put your comments in the below. To see what you think of this film. Okay, that's the last show of the week. Um, busy weekend for me. Hopefully, my little doggy will be getting better. Uh, I'll be back on Monday, unless something else is. But I will put something up it to let you know what's going on. If you, don't, if you don't see anything okay all all being well we'll see you on monday and we start off on monday with an australian band called core ritney uh, australian rock band and classic album on monday is parallel lines by blondie have a great weekend whatever you're doing i will see you all on monday god willing so bye for now